Okay, get ready to be offended. I'm sure you'll be offended. Please don't be offended. Um, I just have questions. I really do. Um, after everything that's going on with Israel and Palestine, I wanted to dive in more into the religion of Islam to see kind of what it was um, more in depth. I started these videos just to do theology, apologetics, Holy Spirit, um, not really to debate world uh, worldviews or religions, but there I just have questions. And this isn't condemning and saying anything bad necessarily. It's just me asking questions because I don't get it. I don't understand because um, there, there seem to be these contradictions in the Quran. Like it from everything that I gather, like I started watching like YouTube videos and then I just stopped and I just started reading online on uh, reading the Quran. So it seems like when they started off, they were small, and uh, Muhammad was, you know, it was more a religion of peace. You see that, what's written, it's more of a religion of peace. You do your thing, we'll do ours. But then it seems like they gained more popularity, more population. Then they started getting into more of a defensive thing, like, look, if you mess with us, we're going to mess with you. And then as they got more power, it turned into an offensive thing where it's like, look, we're just going to kill you if you don't believe in what we believe in, until eventually it's just... Islam is a religion. Everyone is subdued, especially Jews and Christians. So I don't understand how you say it's a religion of peace. And then so what I did is I just pulled out some verses and um, I'm just curious. So if you're Muslim, if you could just answer these or just, uh, I don't know, uh, make sense of it for me just because I, I don't get it. So look, here we go. All right, in the beginning, it starts off like, not in the beginning, I know they were revealed at different times, but this, it says, whether they are the ones who believe in the Arabian prophet or whether they are Jews, Christians, or Sabians, all who believe in Allah in the last day and do righteous deeds, their reward is surely secure with their Lord. They need have no fear, nor shall they grieve. That's Surah 262. Seems like they're in agreement. Children of Israel, recall my favor which I had bestowed on you and fulfill your covenant with me and I shall fulfill my covenant with you and fear me alone. Surah 240. That's dealing with the Exodus. Um... In chapter 34. So then, listen to this. Surah 3, uh, 3 through 4. He is revealed to you, O prophet, the book in truth, confirming what came before it, as he revealed in the Torah and the gospel previously as a guide for the people, and also revealed the decisive authority. So, okay, so the the um, the Torah, obviously, and the gospel, though, too. In the gospel, though, it says that you can't add anything to it um, at all. Um, it says this is the inerrant word of God. Um, so how, yeah, I don't understand that. So, and it says, surely those who reject Allah's revelations will suffer a severe torment. But if they accepted the Quran, then they would be going against the gospel. That's contradictory right there. Then it says, O you who believe, do not take the Jews and the Christians for intimate friends. They are friends to each other. Whoever takes them as intimate friends is one of them. Surely does not, Allah does not take the unjust people to the right path. Um, that seems like it's getting more aggressive to me. And then it seems like uh, the, the Jews... Uh, and the Christians, it seems like they were all together at first as monotheists, then the Jews and Christians weren't really accepting Muhammad, then he started getting angrier, it seemed like, especially with more people, because Surah 557, this is when it starts to shift, Oh believers, do not seek the guardianship of those given the scripture before you and the disbelievers who have made your faith a mockery and amusement. Uh, when you call to prayer, they mock it in amusement. This is because they are people without understanding. Okay, so now he's getting angry. He's like, look, you're making fun of us. And and had they observed the Torah, the gospel, and what had been revealed to them from their Lord, they would have been overwhelmed with provisions from above and below. That's Surah 566. Again, if you observe the Torah and the gospel, then definitely with the gospel, then you can't agree with this. And surely they disbelieved when they said, Christ, the son of Mary, is indeed God, whereas Christ had said, children of Israel, serve Allah, who is your Lord and my Lord. Allah has forbidden paradise to those who associate anything with him in his divinity and the refuge shall be the fire. Okay, so they're saying if you attribute anything to God's divinity, like if you say God had a son, then that's taking away his divinity or letting Jesus share in that. They're saying Jesus didn't claim he was the son of God and to worship him. But he did. Um, he made claims back to Daniel about being the son of man. You'll see me on the right hand of God. Um, if you believe in me, I am the way, the truth. I mean, he's he's saying that I, I can't remedy that. So why? Okay. 
Um, and then I understand this too, that the Quran changed at certain times. Every They would change it for the times. Um, and it says here though, it says, recite what has been revealed to you from the book, your Lord, none can change his words, nor can you find any refuge besides him. That's Surah 1827. And listen to this, Surah 6, 115. The word of your Lord is perfect in truthfulness and justice. No one can change his words. He is the all hearing, the all knowing. So how, how, yeah, how did, how has it been changed? How is it the inerrant word of Allah but it's been changed and the message has been changed. I mean, drastically, these are, these are big messages um, to change, one of peace to one of violence. Um, so yeah, honestly, this is not to say anything bad. I'll tell you a quick story. Um, well, one, when I was reading about this, I, I picked out these verses because I started reading the Quran. Um, I was weeping when I read about Muhammad, when he lost his, his mom, his uncle, he, then he has this revelation. He's, mocked and i mean he had it he had it really rough i just i don't know i mean did things get misguided was there aggression after that was he angry about this and that like I, i'm just not sure i just know that there are, seems like there are contradictions and I, i'm just not sure how to rectify that um another thing this tattoo that i got this one was a resort tattoo in uh, in jerusalem that the pilgrims, they would uh, tattoo pilgrims. The only way that I got this was if my cab driver was Muslim and he spoke in Arabic and Hebrew to like the owner and he got me there. And he was one of the most passionate people I've ever met regarding um, his faith. So it was, it was inspiring. And, um, and that makes me want to learn more too. So, you know, help educate me. Don't make this uh, an offensive thing. Um, again, I didn't edit this. I didn't stop this. I just kept going. There's no high production quality like my other videos. I'm joking. My other videos look like a child made them, but I don't know how to do any of this. These are new. I started these videos like a month ago and um, um, it's going to be a good thing. Good things are going to happen. I'm not sure what yet, but we will see. So help answer my questions. I will see you soon. Thanks.